talk to you for a moment? I have a favor to ask. Something... Um, rather personal. I want to thank you again for recovering the Wonder Medicine. It meant a lot to me. But disposing of Vash's reagents isn't enough to solve the medical supply shortage. Many of my patients can't be seen promptly, and my stock of medicine is running low. Thanks to you, the route to the Overworld through the Furnace Core has reopened. I'd like to use it to return to the surface and see if I can get some help. <laughs> I knew you'd be interested. Remember my adoptive parents I mentioned to you a while ago? After the reopening of the Furnace Core passage, I had an idea. I wrote a letter and asked Sampo to deliver it to my parents' old address. I didn't have high hopes, but amazingly, Sampo brought me my mother's reply. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought when I got her letter. Mom said they still live at the old house, but they're not working on the front lines anymore. They should still have some connections in the medical school and the hospital, though. If I'm lucky, maybe I can convince them to send extra medical supplies to the underworld. Of course, that's not the only reason for me to go back to the surface. I can't wait to visit my parents again. And I can tell from my mom's letter that they feel the same. If possible, I would like you to go with me. Wonderful. <laughs> that's such a relief. I've sent another letter to my mom telling her to find us near Fountain Plaza. Don't worry, I know my way around the administrative district. It's getting late. Where to now? <sighs> this place doesn't seem to have changed much from what I remember. <laughs> no, there you are. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted watching the crowds. <laughs> Look at the busy flow of people. Life in the overworld carries on as usual, as if nothing has happened. Hmm, we're a little early. I've got an idea. I want to buy my mom a gift. You're more of an overworld local than I am now. Any suggestions? Flowers, huh? That's a great idea. I've been underground for so long, I almost forgot what flowers smell like. Flowers it is, then. Can you lead the way? Summer. <laughs> was that always the name? <sighs> Seems I was too young to get the irony back then. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to sound cynical. Maybe it simply represents the people's hopes up here. Now that I think about it, sending flowers is quite the tradition in my family. Mom, Dad, Vash, and I, whenever something good happened, we sent each other flowers to celebrate. Do you want to hear a flower story? Each year for their anniversary, my dad would send my mom a bouquet of ball peonies wrapped in red paper. I heard that ball peonies represent love that knows no end. It does fit their marriage. <laughs> my father is a famous surgeon in Bellabog. Because of his fame, people in medical circles paid great attention to his surgeries. He always had a lot of stress to deal with. Each time he finished a tricky operation, my mom and I would buy a single stem of sunshine and then pin it on the chest pocket of his apron. Sunshines represent warmth and love of light. Huh. For patients on the verge of death, my dad might have been the only light to penetrate the darkness around them. Fash. <laughs> Out of everyone in my family, I think he probably appreciated flowers the least. <laughs> Still, I remember the day he received his offer from the medical academy. 
My parents took me to the florist, and we bought him the most expensive marquee stem in the shop. When we gave him the flower, he failed to hide his smile. <laughs> you can't imagine how hard it was to get him to smile. As an orphan, I never knew my birthday. My adoptive parents took me to the overworld and made the day I joined the family my birthday. And each year on that day, my parents would give me a bouquet of first snow. The number of stems represented how many years had passed since I joined the family. I only found out later that first snow represents beautiful memories. <sighs> my parents gave me a beautiful childhood, and I still haven't had the chance to thank them for that. How do I know which ones to pick? Oh, ball peonies, is it? One second. I'll get it ready for you. <laughs> there you go. Sorry for the wait. Hope to see you again soon. All done? May I have a look? Ball peonies. <laughs> nice pick. I wonder if Dad still sends Mom flowers on their anniversary. I knew you'd pick the right flowers. Mom and Dad will be so happy. Let's go. My mom will be there soon. Best not to leave old folks waiting. Come around and have a look. Mom! Nat? Nat, is that you? Oh, come here, my darling. It's been too long, Mom. Too long. Sorry. I don't usually get this emotional. How have you been, Mr. Oswell? Thank you so much for taking care of my parents these last ten years. I'm doing fine, Miss Natasha. Just fine. Look at you. You've blossomed into a fine young woman. Such a pity that your father... Dad, I was wondering where he is. Is he... <sighs> it was three years ago, Matt. No need to be sad. He passed away very peacefully. I'm so sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry. For ten years, I left you both in the overworld. Mr. Oswell, I'm sorry you had to bear all this weight. Don't be, my dear. It is my honor to look after your parents. It's not your fault that they sealed off the passage between the surface and the underground. Don't be so harsh on yourself, daughter. <laughs> oh, Mom. I have so much to say to you. But, um, there's an urgent matter that needs your help. I apologize. I wish this were a happier reunion. But there are too many suffering with sickness in the underworld. And you're the only person I can go to for help. Oh, there's no need to apologize, my child. I've heard of your deeds down there, and I know you've saved many lives. Your father, <laughs> he would be proud of you. We have many connections in the Medical Academy. No matter what you need, be it medicine or data, I should be able to get it for you. Be the doctor you always were, Nat. We have all the time in the world to catch up later. <sighs> She's always been there for me. 
With her help, we'll be able to ease the Underworld's medical supply shortage. That's good news for patients who'd lost hope. I really wish I could spend the whole day talking to her about the old days. Sadly, now is not the time. Let's head back to the Underworld. We need to spread the good news. Mr. Tasha, one moment, please. Mr. Oswell? I thought you headed back home with Mom. How come... I apologize, Miss Natasha. As a matter of fact, there's something I have to tell you in person. Something that Mom isn't supposed to know? <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Smart and sensitive. The fact of the matter is, in the first two years after the passage was closed off, I received many letters from Master Vash. What? Letters from Vash? Are you certain, Mr. Oswell? Of course, miss. I recognized his handwriting. You'll see what I mean when you read the letters yourself. Actually, those letters were intended for your eyes only. The delivery address was the Underworld, but because of the sealing off of the passageway, the letters were sent back to your old house, to me. I don't understand. Did you not show them to my parents? I... I'm sorry, miss. I opened one of them out of curiosity. Master Vash stressed in the letter that your parents must not know what happened to him. That's why I put the letters in a secure place, waiting to hand them to you when we could meet again. Uh, <sighs> I... I'm not sure if I did the right thing, Miss Natasha. I just didn't want your parents to feel that their son was so close and yet so far away. <sighs> Do you have the letters on you, Mr. Oswell? Let me take a look. Of course, of course, here. You can tell it's the young master's handwriting. The cold has revealed to me my arrogance. How can a child who grew up in warmth ever begin to comprehend a cure to bitter cold? He... <sighs> Vash didn't give up on his research into blizzard immunity, even after he left the city. <sighs> I live in abandoned houses under broken roofs and continue my experiments. One step after another, I've made breakthroughs. I'm trembling, not because of the cold, but because I can feel I'm getting closer to the answer I seek. If what's in here is true, then... then Vash must have built a lab somewhere in the Snow Plains, and even made progress in his research. But how can that be? There'd be no point in him lying to me in the letters. Still... It's possible he may have gone completely insane before he started writing them. I need to leave the city to recover my brother's research data. Are you willing to come with me? Leave the city? You are taking too much risk, Miss Natasha. I know, Mr. Oswell. But I have a hero with me. She saved the Underworld. I'm sure she'll protect me, right? <sighs> Vash, it's been so many years. Are you still alone in the blizzard? Oh, <laughs> ignore me. I'm just talking to myself. 
Let's go. It's time to face my past head on. <sighs> Such harsh cold. It's hard to imagine anyone surviving in these conditions. <laughs> Unless blizzard immunity is real. <sighs> Let's hurry up. We need to find any clues that Vash may have left behind before both of us become ice sculptures. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Here, this looks like lab equipment. Maybe Vash left it behind. Huh. Still, it's all just used test tubes, beakers, and other vessels. There's no sign of any sample reagents or lab notes for that matter. Oh, I know my brother. He's meticulous when it comes to medical experiments. There's no way he wouldn't document his results. I want to go deeper into the snow plains. Can you press on any further? <sighs> Gosh, the temperature keeps getting lower, but we can't give up halfway. <laughs> no need. Don't you underestimate the leader of wildfire. <sighs> Let's press on then. <sighs> this may not sound like me, but... I hope that deity the Architects worship can grant us some luck. Citizens? Outside the walls? Hey, you two! Stop right there! That's a Silvermane guard. Is he yelling at us? Oh, I'd almost forgotten. No one can leave Bellabog without authorization. Looks like we need to talk our way out of this. I can't say you sound suspicious, but I can't just take your word for it either. Captain, look at her necklace. Maybe she's telling the truth. <gasps> it's the same as Dr. Vash's. My brother does wear an identical necklace. Do you know him? Are you really his sister? Dr. Vash saved a lot of my soldiers. Saved your soldiers? Yes. Take a look at the guards patrolling outside the city. All of them are risking their lives. Aside from the monster-related casualties, we lose men to frostbite every year. But thanks to the medicine the doctor leaves us, my soldiers are able to withstand the cold. They can make camps in the snow plains as footholds for our patrols. If it weren't for the doctor, we would have long since frozen to death. Medicine? Blizzard immunity? We don't know. Dr. Vash is elusive. My squad only met him once, and he didn't seem like the talkative type. He leaves the medicine at specific locations, and our patrols go there to collect it. The medicine is extremely potent. A small vial could keep someone warm for a week. Speaking of the doctor, it's been a long time since we last saw him. At least two or three years. I hope he's alive and well. <laughs> so he really did have a breakthrough in the Snow Plains. Oh, did the medicine have any side effects for you? Side effects? Not that I know of. If there were a problem, it'd be that we couldn't go back to the city until the effect had worn off. Because the city would be too hot for us. We'd break a sweat just sitting idle. <laughs> hmm. Thanks for the information. We're planning to head deeper into the snow plains to find my brother. Seems like you've made up your mind. I'd really like to send some of my men with you, but we can't leave our posts. Here. Take this medicine. 
If what you two told me is true, I'm sure you're more than capable of handling yourselves out there. Thank you, Captain. We'll take it with us. Big guy over there. Did you see that? There's something on the monster's back. Oh, the blizzard immunity. Shall we drink it? It's your call. Whew. I'm ready. Doctor's got your back. <sighs> Can you feel it? It seems like Bash's medicine is working. <laughs> so warm. You won't get away. Lance ablaze! Lance, forward! You won't get away. I have something for you. Perhaps you still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Let me pen your wolf. <sighs> it's done. That was my first time seeing you in battle. You've got some moves, don't you? <laughs> no wonder you were able to save the underworld. Let's have a look over there. My gut tells me we should find something connected to Vash. <sighs> These are records of his experiments. It's Vash's handwriting. This must be the location of his final lab. Come have a look. His last experiment was nearly two years ago? What happened after that? Huh. His notes seem to suggest he was working to improve Blizzard immunity. Brother... Where are you? What happened? <sighs> Sorry. I needed to take a moment. <laughs> After seeing the letters Mr. Oswell kept for me, I was hoping things might have ended differently. I shouldn't have asked you to come with me to such a dangerous place. I do. I can't forgive him for what he's done. Nor can I say I don't miss him. I... <laughs> Maybe I should feel glad. The medicine might not have been what he wanted it to be, but it came to something. Maybe he found some inner peace. They'll remember him as a murderer. As someone whose evil experiments brought great harm to the innocent. Vash doesn't deserve to be remembered as a doctor. I know that very well. But maybe this blizzard immunity can now bring benefit to others. Even if it was made by a monster. <sighs> Human beings really are conflicted life forms. I'll take his records and data with me, and continue what he started. One day the world will see a perfect blizzard immunity. Before we leave, I'd like to ask for another favor. The, the last one, I promise. <sighs> that should do. Hope it can withstand the snow. You're right. Uh, let me think. 
Here lies Vash, my brother. <sighs> That'll do. Thank you for helping me. I feel like a great weight has been lifted. So long, brother. Hope you don't forget Dad's teaching. A doctor does not get to choose his or her patient, my children. Remember, never say no to those who come to you for help. Never.